Hey y'all, it's your girl Tay with the T and you know you about to get these sips from me. Well, apparently they tried to pop President Trump, right? He was at one of those little rallies that they do or whatever the case may be. And then somewhere within the rally at some point in time, um, some pops rang off and then you seen Trump go down. Now let's get into the realness of this situation because all jokes aside, right? When real is real, right? And at this point in time, things is really real. I don't know if you've been a part of the distraction that's been happening, but in office, there's some real big fights going on, right? And a lot of people have a real big dislike for um, Mr. Donald Trump, right? And Donald Trump knows that there's a lot of people that has dislike for Donald Trump, right? Even though he will rub the dislike that people have for Donald Trump in their face because Donald Trump really doesn't give a shit, right? Now, if you know Donald and I know Donald and we all know Donald, he really, 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 really doesn't give a shit, right? So now, with the factors of this man about to get into office, people are trying to figure out any and all types of ways to stop that from happening. Even at the factors of basically, um, mm, pow, pow, him out. And um, at the end of the day, he wouldn't be the first president to go that way, right? That would be called what? An assassination, right? So basically, I don't know if y'all been listening to all these um, court cases and the things that been going on behind the scenes. If you ain't been paying attention, then you better pay attention and quickly, right? Because um, they've been talking about this, um, excuse me, motorcycle. They've been talking about this for weeks. And there's been people that have been said to say on the case, well, we can just take him out. And now, if Biden was to take Pre President Trump out right now, he would be able to get clearance while he's president. So the best time to get him would be the time of now, right? What would be the coincidence that they would try them to try to make the time now? Somebody had to be listening, right? Now, my thing is, if, like I said, you ain't been paying attention, then you better pay attention then because the things that this man plans to change once he is in office is very effective to a lot of people, not just people that is of low income, of no um, high billionaire or millionaire status. It affects people that has also worked all their lives and retired and no longer to have or make means of support because they don't work for years and now they don't retire, right? And a lot of older people receive social security benefits, right? Even down to veterans, right? The same people that fought for this country, right? Now, if you're taking social security benefits away because this man said that those are due to end at least within, if he has it his way, the year 2035, right? Now, even though you may not be up in age right now, you may be a person that's in your in your upper 30s or lower 40s and those years will be your senior years and those will be the years that you will be affected. So now you will be working to put money into a, a insurance policy basically so when you're no longer able to work you have something that covers you and if that is stripped away from you then what are you left to do like i said it doesn't only hurt people that is of low income if he said that that's the way in taking other benefits and housing um you know stipends away from people this is the way that he's going to get people to get out there and work no this is the way he's going to get people to get out there and get hurt because when you start putting people out their homes and taking away their means of support then they become people that's going to have to at some point live off of the land and living off of the land consists of you and me my friend which means nobody would be safe he would have a whole bunch of unhinged people running around here trying to figure out how they're going to survive imagine you being a parent in your home and your means of support being taken away because there's not many jobs left out here might i say the the job 
row and realm is like a rat race at this point in time. If you done worked for certain years and you have certain certificates and you have certain educational levels, then you're not willing to settle for less. And if you have no choice but to, t- who is doing years of college school or maybe having a skill or worked in, worked in a certain field for years and now have to look for new work and wind up working in a Burger King or a McDonald's. Could you imagine that? That's basically like a slap to somebody in their face. Now, what I'm going to say, if you're a real person, you're going to do real things because the way you got to feed your family, you're going to go about feeding your family. So if McDonald's and Burger King is going to be what it has to be, then in some cases, people will bite the bullet, baby. But in some cases, people will not even take that as a thought. Okay, so you better lock all of your doors. Because you're going to have people coming through your windows and walls. I guarantee you. So this attempt that they made on Trump today was definitely to get him out the way before he has a chance to get into office, baby. A man said it in an interview. I don't really know what his name is right now. I will definitely put it in the description because I don't want to be wrong, right? But the man that said to take his head off before he has a chance to get into office is the one who laid the blueprint for them to implement this attempt on that man's right so um like i said i'm going to definitely be paying close attention because this just shows us how serious things are because if they actually take out trump then who's up next And we know that he definitely wasn't all for the best. It was good when he was going out of the office because he was playing Robin Hood. He was taken from the rich and given to the poor. And that's what that was basically the law to get everybody in on some. Yeah, Trump. Yeah. You know, people like anybody that's giving them some money. Right. You give people some money. Wait, all money is not good money. But um, you give some people some money and they is your best friend. Right. And he had a whole nation as friends because he gave a lot of money away. OK. And you remember you was there. You probably got PC just like me. All right. So now when he talking about he getting in office and he going to make people struggle more than they might be struggling. Oh, no, we got a problem, my friend. I definitely have a problem with that. I don't like you anymore. And that's definitely what we're dealing with right now. Wait a minute. He going to give us money, take money, and then put us out on the street? Is that what he said? Is that what he said? And everybody will be affected. Not just the ones that's on Section 8, NYCHO, or any other type of, of, of help that you may be getting as far as the income, the welfare, or any other. No, no, no. All levels of people benefits will be affected. Okay? I think he said that he even going to be in control of who can and who cannot have babies. Uh, hello? That might be you. He might be trying to close up your cuckoo shoe. So how do you feel about that? A woman not being able having the decision of your own body he trying to bring it like it is over the end you know i ain't gonna say because i don't want that i told you green dollar sign right mm-hmm. but in certain countries right you only allowed a certain amount of children baby and after that it's clipped because who's supposed to be taking care of these shits if you can't do it and that's how they feel because you know new york Home of the free, land of the brave, land of the brave, home of the free, whichever one you want to put it in, whichever way you choose to put it, right? But a lot of people come to New York because they get the freedom here that they don't get anywhere else. Why you think we got all these crazy motherfuckers here now? Everybody that's from somewhere that could be from somewhere is here in New York, baby, from all different type of walks of life. Right? Right. But anyway, like I said, I'll keep y'all updated. This has been your girl, Tay with the T. You know you're going to get them drops and sips from me, baby. Make sure you do what you do. Hit that like, that share, that comment, and that subscribe button too. 
Hey, what you doing, friend? Hit the button is right there. Hit the subscribe button, friend. And your girl is out. Drop in the comments and let me know how you feel about this one. Um, if you are A, let me drop a A, right? If you happy that they tried to trump, right? Drop a B if you are totally against. I mean, you don't wish on nobody's life. But if you could have understood why, you know, you know, A. And then if you don't understand why, then B. I see you in the comments. Your girl is out, baby.